I'm Tom Bannon Bogart, a member of Advent Lutheran Church, and I'm also a member of the Festivals Committee. And we pick an organization to sponsor for each of the festivals as a fundraiser. And for upcoming Wine Harvest Festival, we have chosen a Haiti orphanage to represent. And I have Norm here with me this morning, who's going to tell us a little bit about uh, this opportunity. So Norm, if you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the orphanage. Uh, hi, good morning. Um, I'm Norm Ayan. I've been here. Uh, my wife and I moved to Cedarburg seven years ago, and we joined Advent Lutheran Church. Um, we have uh, been looking for some place that we could be working with um, different projects, and I found that Mabo fit into my my plans that I wanted to be part of. Uh, it's a uh, orphanage that was started in 2007 uh, with Advent. Um, a, a lady came to the church and we did a um, talk on the, on, on the orphanage in Port-au-Prince. Uh, shortly after that, some of the members went down to Port-au-Prince and really fell in love with the kids down there and saw the need that was there, came back and decided that we needed to help support that. From there, we, uh, after a number of years, uh, we moved them out of Port-au-Prince into a larger area that had more uh, room and space for them. They started out with about 10 kids and uh, eventually got up to around 30. Um, and the, the COVID thing kind of drove some of them, um, made the Orphanage a little smaller. Some of the kids actually went back uh, home because not all of the kids are orphans. Some of them have been given up by their parents, and the orphanage is taking care of them. So uh, some were asked to go back to their. But so, the, we, there's a definite need for. Yeah, and we've had an ongoing relationship with them for several years now, and we continue yeah. to support them. Haiti as a country is going through a pretty rough time right now, and that's impacting the orphanage as well. Can you say a little bit about why there's such a strong need to be helping them out right now at this time? Getting food and clothing, school supplies, everything to them uh, comes from actually comes from us. Uh, right now, there's uh, the, with the political problems and the gangs that are going on in in Haiti. Um, it is difficult to get anything to them. For, for the last three years, uh, they haven't really been able to get out to buy buy much stuff. They have a, a hard time getting food into the orphanage. So um, the fundraiser right now is to get clothing. Um, supplies for school, anything that we can uh, send down to them. Uh, it, we've made arrangements that it will get there and be picked up at the uh, port when it gets there. So we're hoping everything will go smoothly with that. Yeah, that will be awesome. Also, there's been some success stories of, of how we have impacted the kids there, how the orphanage um, has able, been able to really change their lives. Do you have a story or two that you could share about that? Uh, one of the buildings down there is uh, just a shell of a building. It's really a, quite a large building, and but the school has start, uh, we've started a school in there, and uh, the kids have done very well. I mean, they've been teaching even up to calculus and everything down, and some really the kids have, that have been graduating. And and in addition to that, uh, the neighboring community has been sending their kids there. So uh, along with that, uh, there was also a uh, technical training that began. So we had some really good success with the community accepting this, uh, the orphanage right next to them, and being a part of that, and um, even the church growing within the, in the community itself. Let's talk a little bit about Wine um, Harvest Festival that's coming up. What is Advent actually going to do, and how are they going to raise money uh, for the orphanage? There's going to be a, a flea market kind of uh, rummage sale that's going to be at the, at the church, uh, and there will be a bake sale going on. Um, the church will be open, and it, it's so for um, different use uh, of people touring around the things uh, and places where they can buy, like I said, baked goods, or and there will be um, rummage stuff outside. 
And then also, it's my understanding that the Facebook page for Advent is going to have information on this. And if you'd like to make a donation uh, for the, the Haiti Orphanage or the cause, you can do directly through the Advent website. Is Correct? Correct. That's awesome. Um, if, if someone has something that they would like to contribute to the rummage sale, how do they make that happen? Uh, the church will be open from 9 to noon daily, and if someone would like to have, bring something down for the uh, rummage sale, and we're asking that it be something that has a value of $5 or more, be brought down to the church and can be uh, donated right there in the morning, uh, uh, any morning between 9 and noon. Perfect. Um, what's going to happen with the funds that are raised from the event? Is there a, a goal of what they're going to do with that money specifically? The b- money is going to help provide um, more n- more things that the kids will be needing down there. Um, it is sometimes it's it's beds, sometimes it's new mattresses, sometimes it's whatever it is that. It's, it's of, hard to say. It's it's a it's a catch all because they, there's so many different things that are needed. The, the poverty down there is so high. Um, it's less than two dollars a day for earning power, uh, you know, for for your mm-hmm. income, and it's it's tough to get. So, but bottom they, line, they're going to use it as wisely as possible to help the situation uh, to yeah. give these kids the best options or possibilities moving forward. Right. Super. So I ask everybody out there to support us and our our event. Um, again, it'll be at Advent Lutheran Church, the day of Wine Harvest Fest, uh, and we will also be selling baked goods out on the street. So stop by, say hello, and um, if you can find it in your heart, please help support this event. Thank you. Thank you.